Hello, I'm Adriana Vivere Gambo, co-host for The Daily Buzz 716, and I'm so excited to be here with my new friend, of course, Brad Gilbert, who happens to have been a co-host for The Fred Jackson Show for three, I believe, three seasons. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, the reason why we're together, because we have a guest that has made his way back to Buffalo. There are rumors that he was coming, and now we have the opportunity to um, shed the light on the rumors that is clear indeed that he is here to lead the charge for the game. Welcome, of course, former running back for the Buffalo Bills, number 22, Fred Jackson. Welcome. Oh, man, it's my pleasure. You know, I always enjoy getting back, and uh, being able to get in front of the camera with you guys is going to make me look a lot better, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Absolutely. Now, um, Brad, I know you, Brad, I know you have a couple questions for um, Fred here. Yeah. Um, so basically, Fred, obviously, you know, it's been a while since you've mm -hmm. been in Buffalo. You're in Buffalo a bit, but since you've been here with the Bills, um, you're coming back to lead the charge. You did a interview, I believe, back in February with the Siouxland News, where you're from um, in Iowa, or where you live now in Iowa, mm -hmm. and you talked a little bit about how much being a part of this organization meant to you. I believe you said that along the lines of, you know, when it is time to hang it up, you'd love to do so with the Buffalo Bills if given that opportunity. What does coming back and leading the charge kind of mean to you to get to do in front of these fans that kind of helped, you know, define your career? Well, I mean, uh, that's just it. You know, uh, anytime you have an opportunity to come back and, you know, go out and walk in New Era Stadium and be in front of those that fan base again and, uh, you know, just be a part of that in, that excitement is something that, you know, I, I relish getting that opportunity, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. The, the guys in that stadium have, in, in all around Western New York have done nothing but support me. So uh, anytime I get a, a, a chance to come back and, you know, be at a game and, you know, lead the charge, uh, I'm going to jump on that, you know, anytime I get that. And uh, it's just my way of giving back to these, these wonderful fans that we have that support our Buffalo Bills. And, um, you know, for me to be out here again, like I said, is a huge honor and uh, something that I would love to continue to be a part of. Now, I'm so happy you said that because my question is, what does leading the charge look like? And can we, you know, find out whether we're going to get you back indeed? Uh, you know what? It's I'm going to play it by ear. You know, I'm going to see, you know, exactly how much I can get away with. You know, if I can actually get out there and run around on the field, please believe I'm going to do so. So, uh, But we'll see what happens. I, I don't know if I'm just going to stand there and, you know, uh, kind of get the crowd going or if I'm actually going to get the run out of the tunnel. You know, I'm going to do, you know, like I said, as much as possible. And um, But, you know, uh, I, like I, I said it a while ago, anytime I get that opportunity to come back and retire as a Buffalo Bill, if they'll have me, I'm definitely going to do it. Now, Brad, I know you were talking about that retirement aspect. We, we heard some things here now, Brad. Can, can you give us an in on it? Well, you know, Fred, obviously uh, you're considered, and I know you won't say it, but I'll say it for you, probably one of the best running backs the Bills have ever had. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you rank in yardage only behind guys like Thurman Thomas, <laughs> O.J. Simpson. So you rank behind some of these guys that are legends of the game. So you're talking about, you know, now possibly one day your name could go up on the Wall of Fame. I got next to guys like Jim Kelly and Steve Tasker, you know, what would that mean to you? Obviously, you know, that has to be kind of like a dream come true for someone that the fans mean so much to. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, without a doubt, that would be the, the icing on the cake. You know, uh, I had nothing but, you know, a tremendous time that I was here playing for Buffalo. And uh, to be able to have my name up there, you know, next to, to guys, like you said, in Jim Kelly, Steve Tasker, you know, even up there with uh, Mr. Wilson, you know, it would be something that would be, you know, an extreme honor and, and a great way for me to, you know, cap my career here in Buffalo. So, you know, if it happens, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, will be blown away by it. And, uh, you know, if it doesn't, I still have the, the nine years that I was here in Buffalo, you know, I got a chance to be a part of this franchise. Um, you know, one thing you mentioned when we talk about Jim Kelly, of course, Jim Kelly has always talked about how he loved and enjoyed the Buffalo community. And it's clear that you've been here for nine years. You made sure that you were very active within the community and you're clear that you loved it as well. Now, when it comes to this community, why do you feel that so many um, people like yourself or even Jim Kelly, when you come here, this, t this small city, um, but with big heart, you know, is something that so many fall in love with? Well, I, I think that's just it. You know, it's it's a... a, a, a blue collar town that you know that they they put all their heart into everything and uh they respect what we do on the football field so we respect you know how they show us support and and you know how they give everything that they have in in believing in us you know and uh, that motivates everybody that steps on the football field when you have a, a fan base like this that you know bleeds when you bleed on the football field or or, or feel the pain that you feel when 
uh, you have a loss. So uh, I, I think that just ties you, ties everybody together, you know, and I, I think when you get immersed in that, you know, it, it, it brings out the best in you and, um, you know, you feel you, it becomes one buffalo for real when uh, you walk out and, you know, I was out today and, you know, everybody just was patting me on the back saying they couldn't uh, wait for me to lead the charge. And um, I think more than anything, that's what it means, you know, what uh, – I love being able to walk out there with some former teammates, but uh, I think the most important thing that I'm, or, or, or thing that I'm looking forward to the most is, uh, like I said, getting out there in front of the fans. Amazing. When we talk about fans um, here in Buffalo, we have some really diehard fans, and I'm sure you can probably contest to that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. And, and I think something else, too, is just the fact that, you know, now being out of the game a little while, obviously you're still, you've said you feel you can still come back and possibly contribute to a team, but it kind of switches a little, and I'm sure you're still watching football. Um, do you keep up with the Bills still, or are you kind of, you know, all over watching all different teams, or is that still kind of a part of your routine since you were here so long? Buffalo all day, you know, I'm, I'm watching every game, uh, seeing what's happening, you know, what we need to happen, um, you know, seeing who's injured, who's playing, uh, watching, you know, I, I talked to Kyle, Kyle was the first person I talked to when I got here, you know, so I still have, you know, close, close ties to the team with players as well, so, um, but, you know, I got a Buffalo flag flying in my yard, you know, I, I'm all about the Bills and, you know, that's going to continue to be the case, you know, until, you know, I'm not uh, able to walk around on this earth. Well, well, I'm happy to hear that because now that we have new management, um, you know, that is, could it be a possibility that we can or if you can negotiate? I wish I had the negotiation skills um, to step in there to, to, you know, have the conversation. But with this new management, would you consider coming back, whether it's on the other side or even still being able to um, step on the field? Um, I mean, I'm always willing to have those conversations. You know, uh, like I said, you know, Buffalo means more to me than just, you know, being able to have played football. You know, uh, I, I, any way that I can give back to the community or, or, or be a part of this organization, you know, I'm definitely going to try and work that out. So um, it, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, now that I'm not playing for them doesn't mean that I don't want anything to do with it. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still about Buffalo and, and, and want to make sure, you know, that I still have huge ties, you know, here in Buffalo and I want – uh, the fan base to know that I still want to do everything that I can for them. Now, um, speaking of tides, we're, we're here in this beautiful venue, um, as, as you can see behind us. And uh, we, we got a chance to talk about it a little bit, Brad, but I know you had some comments in regards to it. Yeah, I actually came here for, for my birthday, so the, <laughs> the food was delicious. But, um, you know, just in terms of how did this even get started? Because I know, obviously, another former Buffalo Bill, Brian Mormon, is uh, another co-founder of this restaurant, Sear, here. So could you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with this and what kind of that entails? now for you? Yeah. Um, well, you know, when we travel, you know, one of the things we do is when, wherever we get to where we're going to play, we, we like to go out and eat, you know, and then there was, there was just places that we would go out and eat and we say, you know, it'd be nice to have something like this in Buffalo, you know, with a little twist on it. And, um, you know, uh, with Mormon and Terrence McGee is another, you know, owner, part, uh, part owner in it, and Ron McCuya, my agent, you know, it, we all just were kicking around the idea, and I got to give Ron a lot of the credit. He made a lot of it happen. You know, he put in all the, the, the hard, long hours, you know, uh, working out the contracts and things like that. So uh, without him, we wouldn't have this this beautiful establishment here. So, uh, But, you know, just going different places, and we said, you know, can we bring something like this to Buffalo? Because, you know, we wanted to give back to uh, the community that supported us. And, um, you know, we, we had a lot of people that, that put a lot of brain power in it, um, and we, we've had, you know, some tremendous success with it. And um, the communities, you know, responded well to us, and uh, it's something that we're glad that, you know, we have here now. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And, of course, I, I hear the food is amazing. I, I'm a bit uh, biased, but <laughs> I would say that, you know, it's definitely one of my favorite places to eat. Absolutely. Now, you, you talk much about the community, and it is clear that the community always responds well to you. And just a moment ago, before you got here, we got a chance to talk about some of the activities that you did in the community, and I'm sure Brad can um, share with us some more of it. Yeah, I mean, I just remember back to our time on the show, there was a lot of different things you did uh, throughout Western New York, and, and just being able, I think, to, to define your role here in Buffalo, not only as a football player and as a part of the Buffalo Bills, but just, you know, impacting the community with your teammates or on the side so I'm sure it's nice being back in this area and just having you know being able to recall some of those memories and everything. Now what would be one of your fondest memories here in Buffalo of just being able to play a part in the community and doing some of the things that you have done? Oh man so many to choose from um, 
I, I think we were just talking about one of them off air uh, was the pizza party we did. You know, we, we had an opportunity to go be a part of some kids. They, they didn't know we were going to show up and uh, showed up and, you know, had a chance to be a part of their pizza party. And uh, being able to do things like that, I think, is, you know, uh, is something that, you know, kids are going to remember for a long time. And uh, I think that's what we should try and do is, you know, athletes that have an opportunity, you know, to, to brighten up kids' lives is, is do simple stuff like that. Go to pizza parties with them and, you know, go you know, whatever it may be, Chuck E. Cheese, wherever you get a chance, go in there and, you know, have a lot of fun with those guys. Now, as a, a family man yourself, a father, you talk about just hanging out and being with the kids. How important is it also being able to, how do you and how have you been able to juggle being a dad and an a athlete and a husband? Because those roles in itself is a lot. It is. Um, I got to give a lot of credit to my wife. You know, she was the one who made it easy for me to, you know, focus on football and then come home and, um, you know, help in with the kids whenever I had that opportunity. Um, but, you know, my kids are awesome. You know, they they knew what I was doing and uh, they made it easy for me as well. You know, I got to say they, they took they took it all in stride where they were you know, watching me play games and then coming home and saying, you know, can you help me do this with homework and, you know, whatever it may be. If I was sore one day, uh, they would offer back rubs or whatever it was. Um, but, I mean, I think, uh, like I said, a lot of that started with my wife. She made it a lot easier for me. Uh, go focus on football. Then when you come home, if you got, got it in, you come help me with the kids. Uh, but the kids, I mean, they're, they're relentless and they, you know, they, they, they battle back from anything that's set in front of them. And all you got to do is guide them in the right direction. Absolutely, because teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, obviously I had the pleasure of getting to know your family a little bit during our time on the show. And, you know, Danny and everyone were always a big part of the show. They'd come on from time to time. Can you tell us a little bit about how the kids are doing, how, how she's doing, how everyone is, uh, you know, a little post maybe football now? <laughs> Oh, yeah. We are busy. You know, I think that's now that the kids are getting older and they're starting to get in more activities. Um, like right now, I'm actually coaching my daughters in basketball. And uh, my wife talked me into that, by the way. Um, we got 10 girls on a basketball team, two of them my daughters and then two nieces. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, you, you, you don't realize what you're getting into until you jump into a feet first. Uh, but, I mean, we, we get to wake up every Saturday, every Sunday, you know, go play in a basketball tournament, whatever it may be. Son's doing the same thing. He's still loving football. You know, still wants to be a football player when he grows up. But right now he's in basketball. Um, and we, I, I got a chance to take him down. He got to uh, meet Russell, uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, which made his life, you know, he never mind the fact that his dad played football right. for 10 years. He got a chance to meet Russell Westbrook, and I told him, you know what, I can't even be mad at you for being, you know, that being the highlight of your professional athlete career or whatever. So, um, but doing stuff like that is, is what I'm trying to do now is just hang out with the kids as much as possible, um, you know, and from whatever, whatever weekend it may be, one weekend to the next, we're in some kind of activity. Um, and my girls haven't even started these recitals and stuff, which I have uh, I heard I have a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Now, um, with them being in basketball and also football, does the competitive edge of Fred Jackson kicks in and like really making them, you know, like go get that ball, get that rebound, <laughs> like block, you know, does that kick in at any time? It, it, I'm sure it will. <laughs> you know, uh, right now what I'm trying to tell them is uh, just go have fun. You know, right now, it shouldn't even be about winning or losing. It should just be about, be about out there having fun, running around with friends. Um, and then I, I said, once you guys get older, oh, please believe that competitive edge is going to come out and I'm going to be trying to get you to be the best one on the court or the best one on the field. Absolutely. I knew at some point that was going to kick in. But well, kick, speaking of kicking in, we have um, our producer, Kelly. She's about to bring this amazing gift that um, we had a chance to say thank you to. Um, thank you to you in conjunction with, um, I believe it was 97 Rock. And you left us before we was able to get it to you. So instead of shipping it, we was like, the so as soon as he's able to get back into the studio or we're able to connect with him, we have to make sure we present it to him. That's awesome. You know, and it's stuff like this. This is why you got to love Buffalo. I mean, stuff like this where, you know, everybody comes in and then the studio, you guys taking care of me the way you did. That's why we almost we always had a lot of fun when we when I got the opportunity to come and work with you guys. And I knew when this opportunity presented itself, uh, presented itself, I had to come in and, you know, come hang out with you guys again because y'all do amazing stuff like this. And I just want to thank you for that. 
Absolutely, and we thank you. Brad, do you have anything else? I just, you know, being there for this when, you know, the way things uh, ended and, you know, you went off to Seattle for the next chapter of your career, um, this is only, you know, a tiny portion of the outpouring. I'm, I know you receive, you know, through social media and other outlets like that, but just the regulars of the audience that came and watched you day in and day out uh, with us week in, week out. Um, it was just great to see this because of, you know, what you meant to them and they were able to give back a little bit to you. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I already have a place picked out where I'm going to put that, so uh, I can't wait to get it hung up. All right. Well, I believe that wraps up our time with Fred Jackson, of course, number 22, former running back, of course, for the Buffalo Bills. And all i got to say is he's leading the charge on Sunday, so be on the lookout because hopefully he'll make that return to continue to lead the charge as well.